Oops. Hey guys, and welcome to the one, two, third Strelok C++ tutorial. And uh, I promised I would talk about, this is the remake, so I promised I would talk about if statements, right? Well, I am. What a surprise. So first let's examine uh, how an if statement works. Uh, it's if you know logic this will be no problem for you and I hope all of you know logic so this will be no problem for you you will know more about uh, if statements than me uh, when we finish so basically an if statement is defined with the if keyword and if condition condition sorry and here you put the action to take so as simple as that um, so if a condition is true or false you take this action inside these curly bra braces and as simple as that so now you can you can have first of all you can have multiple if statements uh, if condition and then again action to say etc 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 but what if you wanted to check for this condition only if this condition did not occur so if x is equal to 2 this is the comparison operator by the way I'll, I'll explain operators a little uh, in a actually right well, after I finish this explanation so if you want you want to check if x equals 2 and if it's not you wanted to check for some other condition so then you write an else if logical right else if x is equal to 5 you have some action here and then you have oops sorry you have some other action here and let's say you wanted to cover all the other cases what if x was 3 what if x was 4 what if x was 55 so you put an else statement and uh, here you put default action well uh, sorry default comes up as a keyword but anyways this is all going to be commented out so uh, don't actually copy this and expect this to work action is just is not literal it's uh, figurative so something you can put a see out statement say here say x is 2 whatever whatever you want so action okay so this is our basic structure of I hate this tabbing thing it's so dumb okay so, so something like this you can also put it here okay else default action so this is our let's put condition here so that we have our default uh, template or well guide and I'm gonna just put this at the top and remember the comments multi-line comments by doing this I just commented all of this out and now I go here and it's all commented out so great now we can look at this but it won't interfere with our coding so uh, I promise to make a table of right so table here's the promise table um, binary and ordinary operators here it is and once again so first we let's start with this this is to uh, shift 7 is how you get it on an American standard well standard keyboard so and this is called binary oops binary and so if you want to check for a condition and another condition you would use condition and condition right fairly obvious okay so binary or binary or it's two lines absolute value symbol uh, in my keyboard gotten with shift in the backspace character 
uh, well shift and uh, the escape character so binary or let's say um, I think that's uh, comparison um, so what else F fairly uh, well inequality uh, now we check this is literally translated as not so you can say not X which means not X so I'll just keep this at not and uh, obviously our usual uh, greater than less than so what else do we have well obviously we have less than e le less than or equal to and same thing here we have this operator greater than or equal to and uh, what, what other operators do we have forget we have this operator which is not really um, not really operating on in this case but it's called the deref sing operator and we have this which stands for reference uh, so these are unary operators uh, which means they're one symbol mostly uh, so let's uh, comment this out and we might use this but here's a table of operators it's not complete but you can look up binary operators or operators in C++ and you'll get a more uh, better table but this is a quick one so um, let's program uh, a guessing game guessing games this is gonna be our first game of these to in these tutorials so uh, let's actually put this at the bottom and let's it disappeared so if we want it we can reference it done away fly okay so we start off our program with including I stream what a surprise next we put uh, include um, C time uh, C time is the include header for all operations we're using time and in this case we're going to be using the time to get a random number so just keep that in mind C time is needed for this program and that's pretty much it and actually STD as I found out means standard not standard template library it just sh is short for standard so using the namespace standard standard nas namespace so that's cool I didn't know so int main void as we always declare open the brackets and now we're gonna uh, we want a this is gonna be a random number guesser and in between 1 and 20 or whatever let's uh, actually set the limits from user input so C out uh, well let's define uh, int upper limit oops so we're gonna have an upper limit uh, so please enter the greatest number in the guessing range or the greatest number please enter the range of guessing so the uh, top of the range of guessing you could or I'm having trouble phrasing this let's let just uh, 